Ooh, welcome to the second installment of the Source Filmmaker Tips and Tricks. Today we are going to be doing phoneme extraction, which is Valve's implementation of automatic lip syncing. So, as with the previous video, the way I'm going to do this is in two parts. The first part, I'll just show how you actually apply the phonemes and get the lip syncing working. And then with the second part, I'll show how to transpose the phonemes from one model to another if certain conditions are met. So I have here uh, Lord Ardark's Dark Elf model, which I used for phoneme extraction the other day for testing this method out. We're going to play this sound clip from Team Fortress 2. I'll play it again. Oh, we'll throw it heavy! So we add that to the dialogue. And then we just simply select the clip, select the elf, right click. Extract phonemes, extract, come back, and we play it. Who will throw it heavy? And there you go. Who will throw it heavy? Who will throw it heavy? That's all there is to it. So again, I'll just do that again, and I'll use a different voice clip this time. So you right-click in the dialog, add clip to track. Let's just throw in... Heavy wins! Sure, we'll throw that in, and you just select the clip, select the model, right click, extract phonemes, extract. Heavy winds! So obviously it's not perfect, it is an automatic process, but it gets you very close. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to show is how to transfer the phonemes from one model over to another. So for this, I am using Lord Aardvark's Dark Elf, and Lord Aardvark's Elizabeth. And the reason why I am using these two specific models is that Elizabeth already has phonemes. And both of these models use the same naming convention for their flexes. As you can see, Lord Ardvar tends to be fairly consistent with his flex names. If I expand the Dark Elf, there's a few that don't belong within the normal naming schema, but for the most part, they fit. So both of those are important. You need to have a model that already has phonemes so you can transfer them, obviously. And you also need uh, two models having about the same flexes. And they need to have the same names for certain, but the same intensities definitely help. So with that being said, with these two models, I'm just going to go, and I already got these up. So first thing I'm gonna do over here, since I've already done it once, I'm gonna come over here and delete this which is the Dark Elves phonemes. Okay, so now we're going as if you just installed Elizabeth and the Dark Elves. So now we come over here and we just grab one of these files, the ending in phoneme.pre, you copy it and you stick it in the same folder as the model that you want to do phoneme extraction for. So actually what we'll actually do is I'll actually do this for a different elf. I'll actually do it for face 07. This is face 01. So then you go and you rename the first part of the pre-file, the exact same as the model you want to do it for. Not Castanic, Dark Elf. Dark Elf. Terra, Dark Elf. So there you go. So now you see you have Terra, Dark Elf, Face, MDL, VTX, VBD, and now a pre. Okay, so now I'm going to restart Source Filmmaker and spawn in Dark Elf Face 07. So now we have Dark Elf Face 07 spawned. As you can tell, she is very obviously a different face than what we were using before. So just to show off that she has phonemes, I'll select her and scroll over to the phoneme tab. And I can hit these. And you can tell she has her she has different phonemes. So now as before, I come over here. Right click, add clip to track. We will add the same heavy voice clip. Who will throw it heavy? And we select that. We have the elf selected. Extract phonemes, extract. Who will throw it heavy? So now, a question that someone did have about this is does it only work with specific clips? To which the answer is no. So I was using Team Fortress 2 clips, which are obviously voiced by Source Games. 
But if Are I were sure? to bring in some Elizabeth voices. How have I never tried this? Okay. And have the elf selected. Extract phonemes. So as you can see, it has no subtitles, no cues, because it's a custom sound. Extract. How have I never tried this? So again, obviously it's not perfect. It definitely has some okay. issues. How have I never tried this? But, like I said, it gets you very close. And the funny thing about phoneme extraction is you don't even have to technically use voices. I don't want to have her, you know, fucking lip sync a drop shelf. Because, why the fuck not? There you go. So, phoneme extraction, valves implementation is really good. Actually, it's very good for a completely free piece of software. You would pay hundreds of dollars for this level of phoneme extraction and other programs. So our filmmaker offers it completely for free, highly extensible. And like I said, it's not perfect, but it gets you incredibly close. And the method I just showed you of transferring the pre-files, as long as a model has its phonemes done through pre-files, then you can do this to any other model. So like all of Lord Aardvark's models all follow this naming scheme. So you could transfer these, these phonemes over basically any of his models. I don't really know of any other models that use uh, pre-files for phonemes. Uh, there's two ways to do phonemes in source. The correct way, the proper way is using uh, fax, F-A-S-C, or hardware morph, H-W-M which are both uh, flex naming conventions that Valve automatically recognize and build phonemes for. The alternative is using the pre-file, which is basically a custom phoneme set built by the author of the model or someone they contact to do it. It's definitely not an easy process, but that's not this video. All that you need to know is if those pre-files exist, if those phoneme pre-files exist, then you can easily transfer them around and use the extraction. That's all I have for now. Uh, stay tuned. I'll let you all know when the next video is done by just posting the next video. I hope this was informative.